dudes. Um, Subaru Brumby. Love me Subarus and love me Brumbies. Me and the turtle. Wow. Well, there you go. She's a bit rude, isn't she? All right. Um, yeah, got a call. Um, there's a wreck out here apparently. Motor seized. Um, yeah, but it will hopefully have the parts on it we need for that other build. And I'm going to try this week to maybe put some wheels on that thing or do something with it at least to move forward and touch. So, all right, I'll um, let's have a look, eh? Let's see what we're going to get. <laughs> all right, hey, dude, she's looking good. It's red, it's a fast one. It actually looks better than my other one, doesn't it? Hasn't got a big hole in the quarter, depending on how rusty it is, eh? But anyway, that's her sitting there. Madness. Dudes, how good did that go? Um, yeah, that red one's awesome. Like, um, it's a twin head like front one and it's got air con. Um, and the body doesn't look too rusty. Really nice people too. Like, really, really nice people. They had to move and get rid of it, you know? So, um, yeah, what a score. So, we'll, we'll check it out a bit further when I get to the workshop. Um, yeah, what a find. That's awesome. Yeah. You meet so many nice people out here doing this stuff as well. It just, um, Thanks for a good day. Mia got to go have a bit of a play, didn't you, buddy? And then a cry when we left. Not happy. She wanted to stay and play. Anyway, all right, guys. We'll check this out soon. And, um, yeah, see what sort of condition she's actually in. Motor's shot, but we do have that um, Outback motor that maybe we can stick straight in that one. But anyway, on with the day. Right, hey, Poppy and Mia, we've been out collecting cars, as we love to. Don't we, buddy? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> all right. So... What we've got is that Brumby from yesterday, guys. Let's have a look at her, eh? Now, I do have that other one I showed you with the big hole in the back and all the rest yeah. of it. This, Mia, this one's pretty good. It's not rusty around the windows from what I can see. It's not rusty down in under the sills. See down un under here, okay? She's pretty good. In the tray, there's a lot of rubbish in here. I'll get the boys to clean this out tomorrow and we'll check out the back of the tray. But this one's got a better tailgate than my other one. Okay, we're not going to build a show car, but it'd be nice to have a couple of straight panels, I suppose. Yeah, she's pretty good. Um, and, okay, so she's good. A lot of the times they rust out in through here in the hinges, and then around the back here, but it's got all the plastic covers and stuff still in it, which is pretty cool. Okay, and it is an aircon car. Beautiful. We've got all the glove box stuff in that other car. It's done 201,000 dollars, 201,000 k. Sorry, that's that's how much it's worth. 201,000 dollars. What do you reckon, Weena? Yeah. Uh, click. Yep. Click, click. And that the indicators. That's the girl. You know what's going on, don't you? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So as you can see, aircon car. Got the aircon compressor there. That's not really going to worry us though, because we are sort of going to aim to put that late model motor in and the big wheels. But um. We might get stuck into this this week. We'll knock out a couple of those studs and go through the process of showing you how to put the big wheels onto a Brumby. I've never done it before. Um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. But anyway, what do you reckon? Mad, I love Brumbies, love Subarus. And I've always wanted one that's jacked up. This one's got a bull bar, but we'll build a pipe bull bar and stuff for the front of it and the back probably, and maybe even some sort of exoskeleton or something, something different, you know, just bend up some pipes and stuff. But um, yeah. What do you reckon? Brumby? Anyway, just another one. Today, I'm going to head out now. So I've got, um, on the back of the truck here, I've got a bonnet and some boards. We're heading out to pick up a Holden ute, like a HJ style ute. Apparently there's front wheels, but no rear ones. We'll use the bonnet and them as a slide and go from there. So we're just going to head out and do that now, pick up a mate, Mitchell. And um, yeah, so I'll show you that Holden ute, going to pick that up. Anyway, guys, see you. Alright guys, we're out here for Mitchell to grab this um, Holden Ute for him, the HJ or something Ute. Um, yeah, so we're just cruising down this track. It's pretty typical for what um, what I see a lot of the time out in these um, <coughs> Western Queensland spots. Uh, there's properties, a lot of properties out here that are sort of 20, 40 sort of acres. Um, yeah, you sort of drive down to the back of someone's property and you come up over a hill like this and they'll just be wrap everywhere basically um, yeah so we'll keep going along here and from memory I've been in here once before we got um, some other cars out of here once we'll um yeah yes yeah, so just 
and cruise down into these spots and they just have that much junk lying around that you find it hard to believe how it all got here. But um, yeah, as you can see there's caravans, there's just everything really. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, so as you can see, there's a bit of junk there. We'll get out now, we'll have a look, work out which one we're doing and get her loaded up. That's our one for today. Hello. Uh, should be fun. Oh, Mitchell, you do love to buy these ones that are just. Just lovely, eh? Absolutely, what a gem. Alright. HJ. Alright. Well, yeah, let's um, put a plan together. Here you go, here's one for you Ford guys. Commodore. Just a heap more crap down the back there. Alright. All right, well, let's get a plan together and get this thing loaded, eh? You know, getting it loaded up. It's bloody rough, though. Like, it is rusty. Look at that. Absolutely terrible. But, well, yeah, I'm not sure what he intends to do with her, but anyway, she's a rough one, that's for sure. Um, we're off to get a load of motorbikes and stuff right now. So, yeah, I was at a job the other day, and he had even motorbikes, so might be able to build something to play with. So after that one now, yeah, what a Sunday, eh? Yeah, pleasure. Right, so we just got out here and dropped off this um, ute for Mitchell, and he's actually got half a collection out here. He's got, um, well, there's the ute we just took off. A sedan and a sedan. So he reckons this, uh, this, this one is not too bad. It is actually, the sills are pretty solid. You got a bit in the dog leg. What is it, HZ too. Oh, my first car was a HZ. I could actually do a bit of a, um, video for you guys on my first car if you want it's only photos but i'm sure we could put something together she was a pretty cool rig my hz yeah it is actually not too bad this one mitchell it's definitely repairable yeah oh they're all repairable it's plenty of plenty of wire in the mig buddy see those jag wheels have come in handy <laughs> HJ this one, eh? Good gutters up here and everything. So someone's put use. a Commodore gearbox in it at some stage. Very good. So are you going to actually build one? What are you going to build, man? Oh, uh, HJ ute that I've got. That's why I've got this ute here, just for some rust cuts. Yep, so that ute that we picked up ages ago, you're going to do a ute, yeah? Yep. Okay. So exact same model. So you're not going to do a sedan? Hey? You're not going to do a sedan? Nah. Yeah. Alright. Well, there you go, guys. That was just today's misadventure. But yeah, pretty cool to see some old girls getting saved anyway, isn't it? Anyway, alright, back to it again, eh?